Lazada Seagate Dropshipping Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be showcasing how you will be able to use Lazada and CG Dropshipping together. Now, the dropshipping between CG Dropshipping and Lazada is very simple because fortunately, we already have a connection between the two of them. So connecting it will not be very difficult. Unlike other platforms out there, which has no connection yet. So uh, the tutorial that we do with those type of videos are very manual. But in today, it's going to be fairly easy and fairly quick. So first things first, we get, we, before we get started with CG Dropshipping, where most of the process will be, you have to set up your Lazada first. Now Lazada is an e-commerce created from Singapore. And so creating or selling from this platform can be a bit annoying to set up because after you log in, look over here on the top, you have sell on Lazada. Simply click on that to become a seller on Lazada. And over here, now the version that I have the version of Lazada that I have is from the Philippines. So uh, there may be some terms over here or some language that you guys might not understand. But I'm, uh, I'm going to be explaining it in English still despite uh, some of the words here being Filipino. But anyway, to create an account or to have a Lazada Marketplace account where you could sell different types of items, there are several uh, requirements. You have uh, different requirements for the type of sellers that you are. You have a micro or individual sellers. This is typically what people are, a micro or individual seller, especially if you want to set up CJ dropshipping. This is what the typical type of seller that you are. So to become an individual seller, all you need to do is any valley government issued ID, SSS, not TIN ID or national ID. As long as it's a valid government issued ID, you will be able to use it. And any bank account information or any bank uh, debit or credit as long as you have uh, a proper payment method so that you could set up your payment method with CD or with Lazada over here. If you're a corporate seller, of course, it's going to be much more different over here, but we will be focusing on this one. So after you will be able to open an individual seller, you will be able to successfully use Lazada with CG dropshipping as you can see here. So there will be a seller center over here that you will have. So uh, make sure that you finish up and access and view this first before we proceed with CJ Dropshipping. Now let's assume that we have already or if you already have a seller account on Lazada. Let's go to CJ Dropshipping over here. All you need to do on CJ Dropshipping is to of course create an account as well. And over here, this is their home page. This is what you're going to see. Look over here on the left side, you will see these sections over here. What you're going to look for is this icon with a check icon over here, which is basically the section where you could view the different stores that you will be able to connect to with CG Dropshipping. And as you can notice, Lazada is part of those options. So simply click on Lazada and you will be redirected to the section where it will allow you to connect with Lazada. As you can see here, simply click on add store and it will show you like an instruction on how you will be able to connect it as you can see here uh cj dropshipping is requesting permission for the different functions such as read brand categories from lazada system get your transaction statement and fee details and documents and other information so uh over here simply just select the type of country or the type of site you are using the, for me, I had the Philippines over here, so simply use that and then enter the email and password that you are using on your Lazada account and you can easily connect it with your CD dropshipping. That is very important that the email or the account that you are using is the one that has the seller or is actually a seller verified in Lazada so that you could connect it. Now, assuming you have connected it, what you're going to do now is you're going to, of course, Search for a product that you, that you want to import now to Lazada. So what I suggest when you're searching for different products to sell on Lazada is either first specify the specific niche that you want to be. For example, if you want to be someone who focuses on selling electronics, that would be a very great idea because your store would be known as a store who sells electronics so that uh, if people are looking for electronic products, they can go to your store. That is why, or that's one of the advantages of having a 
niche specific store if you have random items if for example you just add all of this up over here your store is going to be random and to be honest uh, stores that are filled with random stuff without specific niche are hard to navigate and i would rather look for a store that has specific niche so that i could easily find the type of product that i am looking for so what i suggest is that like i said uh, specify your niche and take advantage of this image section over here where you will be able to see current events because sometimes the current events have uh, cheaper discounts or cheaper uh, selling for their products over here for example easter over here you could have some discounts or specific products related to that specific um, event so now let's say i chose a product that i want to sell let's say i want to sell uh, this product over here cat steam brush which is a brush that has steam i'm guessing and over here you could check out the different information like a typical e-commerce similarly with lazada where you could just view different items maybe like for example this one you could easily view it check out the title the price the uh, variants over here you will be able to do that similarly in cg drop shipping as well where you can see the images the galleries the price the variants quantity all of the stuff and description over here and if you can notice if you zoom in over here below you will be able to see this list of options over here so you have list which will add the product to your store so if you click this this specific item will be added to our lazada right away or our lazada store right away there's also connect over here so that if your product already exists uh, you can establish a product connection for automatic order fulfillment so that for example your specific product no longer has uh, inventory it will automatically fill it up for you uh, you could also add this to your products or you could buy a sample so that you could uh, test it test the product out or even create like a uh, a video like this one on the video gallery demonstrating the product that you are trying to sell or maybe for your customers because sometimes uh in lazada customers can chat you and ask you for a live picture so you could send them the live picture by using the buy sample section over here so that's basically it you could easily list it and it will automatically be added to your lazada shop over here you will be able to monitor your products that you are listing over here on this section your listing records over here product records store products as well inventory and wish list of you and sq you list uh, cd drop shipping is very useful for drop shipping and it's uh, something that can be accessed by multiple platforms already so it's a great platform to uh, use specifically for lazada if you wish to have drop shipping on lazada so that's basically it guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.